Alright, hey guys. Uh, so a few days ago, uh, I did a blind race with my friend Giovanni on a PSP game called Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. And during the race, both of us got a few questions on how we were streaming our PSPs, because we were both using actual PSPs and not emulators. So today I decided to just make this uh, short video to show you how to uh, use your PSP on your computer without having to purchase any capture card or anything like that. Uh, this method will require a modded PSP, however. I'm not sure about the capture cards or not. I've heard of them, but I've never actually seen it. So, I'm going to show you how to do this. You're going to need a few things. You're going to need a PSP, of course. It's going to need to be modded so you can use plugins or play video game backups or whatever. You'll know if it's modded. Uh, you'll need a USB cable. And if you want to get audio, you're going to need an extra cable for that. But I won't get into that because I don't need that one. So, to start out with, I'm going to put a link in the description to download a program called Remote Joy Lite. And this will come with all of the stuff I've got. So, um, you'll be able to follow along here. Uh, I apologize that the video quality isn't too good. I'm not really, I've never really recorded anything on the computer, so I just randomly got a program. So, first off, you're going to need to. Put your uh, PSP into USB mode, uh, just like any other thing you would do before. Um, so, here's the folder for uh, Remote Joy Lite. It'll come with all of this. It may not be very visible, but so what we got? I've got a folder here called Plugins. Now there are four things here. One that says uh, Remote Joy Lite uh, You might not see that. I've got file extensions on. But this one, you will use that if you're going to use the point two A program. The one below it, you'll use if you if you're going to use the point one nine no point one nine program. I have to use the point one nine because the point two program lags my PSP. Um, I should probably put that somewhere here. And then if you've used plugins before on your PSP, you know what these are for. Both of these have to be listed in the game and Vish hold, uh, files, and if you want to use both your uh, XMB and games, you're going to have to have them both enabled. So you just simply put those into your SP plugin, uh, SE plugins, as you can see I've got them here. So you just put them in there, and then uh, you're going to have to restart your PSP and hold R, or access the, the menu from your XMB if you've got that, uh, that mod and then just enable them in the Vish or video game or however you plan to do this. Now, um, once you do that, you're going to have to reboot your com uh, PSP. So give me a second and I'm going to turn off my PSP and enable the plugin. I'm doing it on the computer I stream on because I haven't actually installed everything here. So give me a second. Alright, so once you've got them enabled, your computer will try to install drivers because it notices the PSP. Right, so here. Now it's going to fail. After a while it will just fail. But don't worry because we, we've got something to fix that. So here it's trying to install PSP type B. The, dr the plugin is making your PSP read as a different type. If you plug your PSP into your computer, you'll notice it, t it installs as PSP type A. So we'll give this a moment until it finishes. Sometime today would be nice though. Alright, so it's getting closer to it. Alright, so there it said driver not found, so it just failed. But we can fix that. Just open your control panel, go to the device manager. Once in the device manager, you'll notice, let me get this on screen, 
down here in other devices you'll see PSB type B right click update driver software browse my computer for driver software and go to where you put that folder uh, for the remote joy light so mine is in my documents so and then click on the folder that says drivers and just click OK then click next you might get this just click install driver software anyway and we'll give it a second to install All right, so there we go. Now it should have fixed, and it'll no longer be another device. Now it's in the USB devices, so you can just close out your device manager. Now, depending on which uh, plugin you used, the one that's just called Remote Joy Light, you're gonna want to open this folder that says Remote Joy Light Zero uh, Two A. If you installed the one that says uh, uh, the, if I can't even speak, if you use this plugin instead. Um, you're going to want to use the one here. Uh, you'll want to use the file that says remote joy light underscore en if you're going to clearly if you want English. So just run it. And boom. There's my PSP. And um, you may notice a bit of lag uh, from your uh, the program. You might also notice some lag if you're streaming it, but you can fix that by overclocking your PSP. Um, though if you're going to use this for speedruns, you should make sure that um, the community is okay with you overclocking. Otherwise, you'll have to deal with the lag. Now we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to get this in your streaming program, which is pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna move this over to the side real quick. I'm gonna bring up OBS. I don't use XSplit, so I don't know how to show you on XSplit. So with a new scene, you just go add window capture, whatever, and then up here make sure it says remote joy light. It'll already have um, for the capture already choose this inner window, so you don't have to worry about subregioning it. So just hit OK. And we're gonna hit preview, and there it is. Like I said, there will be some lag, noticeable or not. And then, um, <clears throat> if you launch a game, you'll notice that it'll turn off for a second and then say waiting in the corner here. Don't worry about that. Oh, my uh, OBS doesn't seem to be enjoying this. but it's working nonetheless. My OBS just isn't capturing it very well. But, yeah. Um, it'll probably work better for computers that have a uh, better CPU. This computer isn't too good, but it works. You can play your PSP games. If you've got that, uh, you can get audio by just rerouting the audio through the headphone jack into your computer using line in and then just uh, go to your recording devices and have it listen to the line in instead of uh, just letting it sit there but yeah so that's how you can get your PSP to show up you can right click on it to get some more options like using your PSP from your keyboard uh, changing the aspect ratio such you can actually capture video with this program but I wouldn't recommend it because it's really bad. It just lags hardcore, so I wouldn't recommend it. Use some other program. But I hope this helped some people, and thanks for watching.